The problem we have is that you will walk out this out of this church, you will not even be home before you will be confronted with the entire opposite of all of these things. First of all, you must deal with the opposite of them within your heart. <laughs> you must deal with the fact that even in the past week, even today perhaps, you might find a lack of truth, a lack of honesty, a lack of justice, purity, loveliness, all these things, a lack of that within your own heart. We come to God's house and we harbor the opposite of these things. Our corrupt nature, our fallen state, our negligence toward God and His mercies. All these things reflect the opposite of what we're presented with here. We are to give ourselves to what is virtuous and praiseworthy. How do we overcome this? Living in a fallen world in a morally broken society, what are we to do? Civilization as we have it today here in Calgary in 2015 has never faced the complexities of opposition to this as what we have today. In the past, it was always very much in your face. And if you're going to go against these things, for the most part, it could be seen, discerned, on less able to do it in secret. But now everything we can hide. We can be liars and untrue without anyone ever knowing about it. We can start websites totally anonymously and give accounts of other things or events or whatever it might be and there could be no truth in it whatsoever. We can do that and nobody knows. We can be dishonest in various ways. We can cheat on our spouses by means of internet or whatever else, communication, technology, and they never know. We can be impure by what we watch, websites we visit. We can be unlovely by the way we may respond even by means of technology. And I don't know if you ever are on certain discussion boards or things like YouTube where someone puts something up and people, and it's just an anonymous name, username they have, and they leave these vile comments below it because nobody knows who they really are or where they live. They can be unlovely and nobody knows who it is that's being unlovely. The complexities that face us, the temptation that is before us, the corruption of our heart and the avenues that we may fulfill the opposition to this is more complex, as I say today, than ever before. And if we are not serious about obeying this instruction, this command, we are going to get eaten alive by the corruption of our nature. 